Hi, we are Mona Lisa Likes Premium Online Designer Store. If you are going to buy Dolce & Gabbana bag online, for example on eBay or Amazon, you need to make sure it's authentic. In this video I will continue showing you details and checkpoints of a Dolce & Gabbana bag, which will help you to distinguish an authentic bag from replica. If you haven't watched our video part 1, you should watch it first and then continue with this one. In first video I'm showing five simple steps, simple checkpoints, which will help you to distinguish 95% of fake Dolce & Gabbana handbags sold online. This video is part two and I will go over not that obvious but yet important details and any of it can be a sign of fake. And we continue talking about Dolce & Gabbana Miss Sicily handbag. Let's talk about latch on a shoulder strap. Shoulder strap from Dolce & Gabbana Miss Sicily bag attached to the bag with a latch like this. Modern Sicily bag has a latch like this. It has a shape of a question mark with a square trigger on the side. Approximately before 2015, a latch on the shoulder strap looked like this, in the shape of a teardrop. Then it was remodeled and it looked like this. Also a shape of a teardrop, but now it has a small round trigger on the side. And approximately since 2015, all Dolce & Gabbana Miss Sicily handbags have this question mark shape of a latch with a square trigger on the side. And now attention! Most of the replica bags have a latch like this. So if you see a Dolce & Gabbana Miss Sicily bag which has a shoulder strap with a latch shaped like this, it can be a sign of fake. It does not necessarily mean that, but pay close attention to the year of the bag. If it's a modern bag, it can be a sign of fake. And pay close attention to other details which we have covered in our video part 1 and will cover in this video as well. Next, mirror. All modern Dolce & Gabbana Miss Sicily bags have a mirror inside which is placed in a special pocket inside the bag. Older generation of Miss Sicily bags for approximately before 2014 did not have a mirror and did not have this special pocket, for example, like this bag. There are two types of a mirror. A mirror with a glass reflecting part and just a plain polished piece of metal without a glass part. Both have a name on the back engraved on the back side. While new, the glass mirror is covered with film with tiny text on it and metal mirror is just covered with transparent film. The glass mirror is included with all leather bags, whereas a metal mirror comes with canvas and coated canvas handbags, for example, like iconic Dolce & Gabbana Miss Sicily Leopard bag. That one, it's not a leather, it's a coated canvas and it comes with a metal mirror inside without a glass part. This mirror does not look like a piece of art, it's just a nicely polished piece of metal. Replicants know about this simplicity and use it to trick naive consumers. Fake bags always have a metal mirror in it. They never have a glass mirror. So if you see a coated canvas, Miss Sicily bag, for example, like Leopard print bag, which comes with a metal mirror, it's okay. It does not mean that the bag is fake. On the other hand, all fake bags come with metal mirror and if you see a leather handbag with a metal mirror which does not have a glass part, it can be a sign of fake, it is a sign of fake and you should pay close attention to other details of the bag which we covered in our videos. 
And one more very important thing about the mirror, which you should know, is a missing name on the mirror or if a name is mismatched. For example, each Dolce & Gabbana handbag has a name and a mirror has a name of the bag on the back side. For example, for Miss Italy bag, it says Sicily. For Monica bag, it says Monica on the mirror. I have a hand-painted limited edition Vanda bag here, which has a mirror inside, which says Vanda. Manufacturers of replicas to save themselves time and money produce mirrors with just one name, for example, Monica, and put these mirrors in all kinds of bags, in Monica bags, in Sicily bags, in all other bags. So if the name of a style of the bag is mismatched with a name on the mirror, this bag is most definitely is a fake, especially if this mirror is just a metal plate without a glass surface. And of course, if the metal is not solid or smooth, it has a defect or a covering film is wrinkled or uneven, larger in size than the mirror, then it means that it's a fake. A chain attached to the mirror, a definite sign of fake. Next, material. Materials used for production of Dolce & Gabbana handbags are of very high quality. No wrinkles, perfectly crafted from every angle. Fakes usually look very stiff and hard, non-flexible, especially shoulder straps. As to the interior of the handbag, Authentic handbags usually have black or leopard interior, like here, or like here. Some of the limited edition handbags may have a special fancy, fancy or floral multicolor interior or even brocade like this one, like this bag. Authentic lining is made of cotton, perfectly fitting with tight pockets. Most of the replicas have glossy interior with very cheap and thin synthetic nylon with leopard print. Inner pockets look clumsy and do not adjoin tightly to the inner walls. They often look like there is more fabrics than needed. Dust bag. Authentic Dolce & Gabbana handbag comes in a black dust bag, black cotton dust bag, with double ribbon tightening on the sides. Dolce & Gabbana logo is embroidered on a separate ribbon and stitched from the both sides to the dust bag. Older Dolce & Gabbana handbags used to have just black dust bag with white Dolce & Gabbana brand name printed on it. Sometimes, very rarely, Dolce & Gabbana handbag may have a very fancy jacquard dust bag, but it comes with Alta Moda bags or very limited edition bags. Fake bags mostly come in glossy synthetic bags and many times you can easily tell it from the photos in the listings. They also have a shoelace instead of a ribbon or other than white branding, for example, gold, silver or grey. All of it a sign of fake. And of course, a red light for you is a DNG logo. If you see a DNG logo on a dust bag, it means that the bag is definitely a fake. I explained the difference between Dolce & Gabbana and DNG brands in our first video and why it never can come with a Miss Italy bag. Engraving. Authentic Dolce & Gabbana handbags have very thin and delicate engraving on the front metal plate. It says Dolce & Gabbana Milano Italia. The plate is smooth and shiny. Replicas have deep and thick engraving and may contain text like made in Italy or what is worth made in Milan. They may also be not perfectly smooth Engraving has different depth and color is cheaply yellow. And to conclude, 
I must say that today's replica is made pretty well and oftentimes it's not that easy to spot a replica. But if you will pay attention and use all the tools that I gave you, you will be able to spot most of the replicas sold online. If you need help or you have any questions, please contact us. And of course, the safest way to buy an authentic Dolce & Gabbana handbag online is to buy it from a trusted seller like Mona Lisa Likes. Please visit our online store for a great selection of Dolce & Gabbana and other premium brand names. Follow us and see our next videos. Thank you for watching.